Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi. So, teacher, I have to be as a listener today. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Yes. How is everything, people? How are you? Tell me, tell me, how is everything? <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Emerson. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know if you noticed that I'm, uh, my status is as a listener because Wednesdays and Thursdays, I work from home on the on the shift and night shift. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sometimes, sometimes uh, I'm getting calls from 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 customers or in order to solve issues. Mm -hmm. So I try to to do my best in participating in the class. Okay. At least I receive a, a call. Okay, I just want to let you know that. All right. Uh, thank you for letting me know. Yes. Thanks. All right. Uh. Well, I see Kathy. Uh. I think she sent a message to the group. Rafael just told me that he's gonna be a listener today. So we got. Hi, teacher. Hi. Sorry. Yes. Uh, tonight I will be a listener and I hope to join to the class uh, more activity in as soon as possible. All right, thank you, thank you for letting me know. That's okay, that's okay. Hello, Marilyn, Mauricio, you. Mauricio, and Magdiel, Elizabeth, Mario. How is everything, guys? How was today? Good, bad, more or less. Can't complain. It's okay so far. It's okay. All right. All right. That's fine. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. And good to know. All right. Uh, before we start, I want to give, give you some news. Good news. <laughs> uh, you already know that tomorrow we it, it's a holiday. So this means that tomorrow we will not have our session. November the 2nd is a national holiday. I'm not sure if it is international, but uh, a national holiday, let's say. So tomorrow we will have no session. We're going to continue with our sessions on Friday. Yes. That so is not a great know, news. It's, it's, yes, it is. It is no, good news. It's not. Why not? Because uh, we will not receive the class. No. Oh, that is, no, no, no. <laughs> You're going to rest. That's good. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yes. So don't forget about tomorrow. Do not get online. Do not join anything because we're not going to have the session. And I think I think you're going to re receive a message tomorrow from administration telling you or from English Corporativo telling you that we will not have the session tomorrow. Yes. I, I think you didn't get anything today, so you're gonna get it tomorrow. Uh, or yeah, I think so. But I'm, I'm just letting you know that we won't have a session tomorrow. Yes, let's see. Let me take attendance right now. Person. All right, all right, let me see. Diego Josue Benitez Leiva, he told me that he will not be joining the class today. I'm not, uh, because he's 
coming from the top of, I don't know, he's driving. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Good evening, present. Hi, good evening. Are you going to be as a listener, Elizabeth? Yes. All right. Thank you for letting me know. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Eric is not here. Julissa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. No. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Thank you, Carla. Carla, are you going to be available for participation? Oh, wait. Good evening. I'm working with patients. No, teacher. I am listening. Good evening. Good evening. I just read your message. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Not here yet. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. This person, no. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Hi, this is your first time, your first day, right? Sí. Lo que sucede que eh, los esos dos días anteriores, pues, como he tenido cierre en la empresa, pues no me han permitido eh, tener, la mayoría de veces sí me puedo conectar, aunque sea solo para escuchar la clase, pero estos dos días, pues no me dieron permiso de estar conectado. Ok, I understand, I understand. Well, are you going to be available for participation today? Sí, sí, claro que sí. All right, all right, thank you, thank you, Madeline, and welcome. If you thank you. If you didn't know, my name is Mauricio, ok? <laughs> Okay, the pleasure. Right. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Presentation. Mario, are you going to be available for participation? Yes, teacher, yes. Thank you, Mario. I'm sorry? Se me olvidó quitarle el oyente, pero sí, hoy sí. Ah, all right, all right. Okay, yes. Thank you, thank you. All right, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you, Mauricio. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Ronald Alexander Vázquez Diego. And Victor Noé Bonilla Portillo. Okay, I think we are ready to start. Thank you guys for joining. I know I know it is difficult after working. It's Wednesday. We are getting tired. Uh, well, in all senses, emotionally, physically, we're getting tired, and it's difficult to to be here every day, especially at night. You know, it's the time we we where we sleep. So I'm very, very, uh, I really appreciate your effort and thank you guys for being here today. Yes. Hello, Eric. Welcome. Thank you for joining. It's a pleasure to have you here again. And well, we got nothing else to do, but to start, let's do that. Well, as you know, today is class number three, or this is the third class. Yes, all right, it's it's Wednesday, and I was telling you tomorrow we will have no session. And uh, well, let's begin. I wanna begin with this. Uh, I need a person to read it. We're welcoming November today. Today is the first day of November. So as a, as a 
for that, I have brought this this uh this ex this expression or this this group of words. Can anyone read it? Anyone? I wanna try, coach. Read it. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Never quit. If you stumble, get by get by up. What happened yesterday no longer matter. Today is another day to move on and on and start over. All right, all right. There you go. There you go. Look at this 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 code. The code says never quit. If you stumble, get back up. What happened yesterday no longer matters. Today is another day to move on and start over. People do not worry about, about the past. They just keep going, fight. Uh, I know I know we struggle, we struggle, we stumble, we fall. But the point of falling, struggling, and stumbling is to getting back up. Yes. So don't worry about what happened yesterday. Just worry about what is happening right now. Keep going. Uh, in terms of English, just, just chin up. You know, don't lose your motivation. Keep learning. Learn as much as you can. And, uh, well, welcome November. Yes. Have you got, are, are you going to decorate for that for next month? For are you December. going to decorate for Christmas? Oh, my family, no, but my spot on my, on my, on my job, yes. All right, all right. It's possible, right? All right. I was I was planning to decorate, but I'm not really sure. I have to paint the house, then decorate. But I might do it in the middle of this month or at the end of this month. I'm going to paint the house, the whole house. I'm going to decorate it later on. Yes. That's the plan. That's the idea. Yes. It will be my first time. Uh, I have never decorated my house. It's gonna be my first time. I live alone, so, but my family lives next to me. They have another house. They live in the same property. There's another house, but I live in this house alone. So, uh, my plan is to decorate it to have it, you know, to make it look good, and uh, yeah, that's the plan. All right, so let's begin. We have two questions. These two questions are on page number 12, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. But let's take a look at the book. I'm just showing you the slide, but this is in the book too. Look at this. Yeah, it is page 12. Page number 12. And today, today we will be able to describe tips to apply when shopping online. We're going to be able to describe tips or good ideas or advice, pieces of advice to follow, to apply when we shop online or when we buy things online. There are two questions. I want, I want you guys to discuss, to give me your opinions, to point of view about these two questions. The first question says, how often do you purchase items online? The second question says, how, sorry, what do you have to be careful about while purchasing online? Two questions. I want to hear your answers, your opinions. Guys, let's begin. Think about it. Think about it. And give me your opinion. Hello, anybody? Oh yes, um, I I thought you 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 gave us one or two minutes. Yeah, I, I'm giving you some seconds. <laughs> oh okay, yes, <laughs> okay. But, well, okay, if you're ready, go ahead. Yes, I'm ready. How often do you purchase items online? Mm -hmm. Well, mm, no, every day or every month, but sometimes when we need to get something special like funds or a t-shirt or or jeans 
or something like that. Mm -hmm. and, and I have a car and I when I when I want to get something for my car or I need something for my car, I research online to get some items, some things. Um what well, do you have to be care to be careful about while purchasing online? Sometimes probably no for the items because you you have the opportunity to check sometimes the, 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 the things or the products. But some some sellers ask the paid in advantage, so for me that is very important to say. Oh, well, I'm going to pay when when I receive the the the, the products, right? Yes. Or, right. or 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 pay or pay online with the credit card is very danger danger, right? Dangerous. It's dangerous. dangerous. It's very dangerous because you you could lose all money that you have on your on your car but uh, yes but in my case i have two cars one car to to use my money or to save my money and one car to buy it online to avoid that uh, that, that inconvenience the inconvenience exactly exactly Incom yes yes all right all right that's a good opinion thank you Mauricio, for sharing it yes it's good it's good yes let's see another person don't worry, we have plenty of time. We got, we got, every... so go ahead, go ahead. Just tell me, tell me. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Hello. I'm just waiting, Fabricio, Eric. Hello, Magdiel. teacher. Okay, Magdiel, thank you. Um, I often buy online through the delivery app. It, it's it's okay, delivery app? Yeah, delivery app, um, yes. Okay, I often buy the delivery app. Um, usually it's bread or some snack or it depends it depend on the um the weather <laughs> could exactly. be bread at the afternoon but um i think that there are some some problems sometimes because uh, with I don't I don't know the person is is another is in the in the in the shop on the other way, um, but sometimes uh, we have a we had a problem to to get the to get the product, but it's 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 not common. Yeah. That is all. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Magdiel, for your opinion. Very, very good. Very good. Excellent. All right. Let's continue. Luis, Mauricio, Eric, Elizabeth, Mario. What can you say? Mario? Well, okay. Well, in my case, in fact, I don't buy online very often. Mm -hmm. I prefer to buy in person at each place. Uh, Overall, to avoid electronic fraud, yeah. I'm that kind of person. Okay, so you do not buy online that much. I understand. I understand. All right, all right. Thank you for for your opinion, Fabricio. Who else? Marilyn, Fabricio. No, Marilyn. Okay, yeah. so in in my case, I often um so. I think that is in a special occasion. For example, in in birthday friends, I think. When you buy what, sorry? Yeah. I often buy the programs online in a special occasion. For example, in I in buy something in birthdays or or in a special day but 
only in this occasion. Yeah. Okay. What about the in second the, question? In the other, I think that um, you have to be careful with the quality, I think. But mm -hmm. it's a little difficult because you, you don't see it. But maybe um, someone, uh, someone else, um, um, you have the recommendation. Will be off. No, I don't know. Yes, I understand. So you're saying that we have to be careful with the quality of the product, but the problem is that we do not see the the, the product. We we only yeah. see pictures. We only see pictures. So what we can do in that case is read the reviews or read the opinions from different people to see what the product is, well, if the product exactly. is, is good or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, thank you for your opinion, Marily. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. All right, let's continue. Let's see, Eric, Liz, Castillo, Elizabeth, Mario, what can you say? Well, in my case, coach, um, I only uh, ask for as food online. It it ends mm, no much because I would rather go to the place mm -hmm. and and see the the, the items. Okay. All right. All right. But what can you say about the second question? Um. In my to my point of view, I consider that it is important because you need to be sure in the type of brand or the or the market where you're looking for a um a things all right because uh you you don't know if the is the place is uh sure mm -hmm. that that is selling in this case Okay. All right. Thank you for your opinion, Eric. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much for that. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. I need I need to hear more opinions. I need I need to hear everyone participating. Luis Javier, Elizabeth, Mario, Ronald, welcome. Thank you for joining. Tell me, tell me, guys. Hello. Stage is yours. No, no more participation. Okay, no more. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the ones that uh, to the ones that participated. And let's continue with the part number two. The part number two is the conversation. But let me just check if it is the conversation or not. Yes, it's the conversation. We are going to uh, practice. I'm going to read the conversation two times, one time uh, for you guys, and the second time for you again, but slower, slower than the first time. Let me do that. Let me share the book again. Okay, here we go. It says there, Lucas is telling Saul about his plan to open an e-store to sell his handicrafts, take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. E-store. 
e store refers to electronic store or online store. That is e store, electronic store. All right. Let me read the conversation to you. Listen carefully, listen to the pronunciation. And if you have any questions about the vocabulary, about any expression or sentence, let me know when I'm done with the reading. Let's begin. It's a conversation between, but hold on, look at this. Lucas and, and Saul. And it is Jesse and uh, Hank. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on. All right, Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is this new laptop for only $199. I called the store and it is $900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at that web page for you uh, before you enter a car, your car number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for small padlock symbol in the address bar. Uh, this one doesn't have it. Experts men experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offered uh, protection from identity th th uh, theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. There you go. There are, there, is, there are two words that you might not know what they mean. So tell me questions about them. About the conversation. What is the pronunciation that the word padlock? Which one? No, in the at the end, at the end part in the the and the, you have to look up for a small padlock. A padlock. Padlock. Okay. Padlock. Pad. Pad. Padlock. Okay. Yes. What else? What is padlock, by the way? What is padlock? Does anyone know what it means? Uh, padlock. Yes, padlock. What is it? Padlock. Uh, I think that padlock is the list of to dos. Or. Is it is the what, sorry? In this case, it's talking or it mentioned that it is a symbol, but a padlock is an object. Uh, that, padlock. Yes, a padlock is uh, an object that we use to close doors, to close stores, especially uh, these this, uh, roll up doors and roll up windows. Or uh yeah, roll roll up roll up windows and roll up doors, the ones that you close like this, and you, you use the, the padlock to, to lock them. That's a padlock. It's an object like this, small, big. It depends. Yes. What is theft? You know what theft is? Uh uh, steal like a steal a person that is, that steals. Yes, it's like a like a stealer, a robber, a person that takes things illegally. Yes, that's what it is. What else? More questions? That's a theft. Yes, my teacher. That look is a uh, like a uh, articles. A what? Sorry. That look is a articles. Yes, yes. That too. That too. 
-hmm. But it, it also refers to, a, to an object, a physical object that we use to close doors and gates. Yes. What else? No, no more questions? Okay. Be careful, be careful with the past form. I'm talking about checked. It's, it's in the past form. You have to mention the ED. Be careful with the uh, with checked. Hold on. Check with the uh, call. Which there's another one. No, no, no. no. Oh. Bob is already easy to pronounce. Let me see. Let me see. Hurry up. Only those ones I mentioned. Only these three, these three word words. Okay. We need to be careful with these words and the following word too. Because sometimes what we do here is that we connect. That's what, what we call connected speech. There's something in English that we call connected speech. And this, this is usually uh, uh, applied with past forms of verbs. I mean, the past form of the verb and also the past participle form of the verb. But I'm talking about regular verbs, the ones that end in ed and d or ied. For example, over here, I checked. If you if you remove the ed in the verb check, you're going to say, or you can say, I check it, check it, I check it, right, right? But in this case, since it is in the past form, you're going to mention the T at the end, check it. But this T, this T, can be connected or you can connect it with the following word. And the following word is it. Checked it, checked it. So this means the, the pronunciation of the ED in the word check sounds like a T, T, checked, checked. And this T is connected with the following word. In this case, it's the pronoun or sorry, the object pronoun it, checked it, okay? Piece of advice. The same situation happens with the verb cold, which is per, that with the, the ed is pronounced like a d. Cold. It's not like a t. It's like a d. Cold. 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 You hear that? I cold. The, cold. The. You're connecting the 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 ed with the with the article a. Cold the store. Cold the store. Cold a store. Of course, you can separate that if you want to. You can say, I called a store, I checked it. Not a problem, but if you want to sound better or, or have better fluency, you can you, you, you have the option to join the, 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 the sentences, the words. And over here, mentioned, mentioned on, mentioned on. Again, mentioned, the ED in the verb mentioned sounds like a D, mentioned mentioned and then we have on mentioned on mentioned on tv you can you can do that too with no problems now let me read this this uh the conversation again i am going to do it slowly for you guys to listen to the pronunciation better hank you won't believe this a friend said he bought this excellent deal online I checked it and there is a new app, sorry, there's a new laptop for only $199. I called the store and it is 900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small pad for a small pad padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. 
experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offered protection from identity thefts theft that debit cards don't. So, wait, I cannot see it. So you better use the credit card. All right, there you go. That's how it goes. Okay, now let's practice this conversation for a couple of minutes. Then we're going to continue with the rest. Let's see. I need two volunteers to read it, to practice it. Here, two volunteers. Show. Okay, Fabricio, we have Fabricio. Who else? Uh, here, me. Okay, and Ronald. Thank you. Thank you both. Go ahead. Who am I, uh, teacher? You're Jesse, Fabricio. Okay. Hank, you won't believe this. Uh, Fred said he bought this excellent deal online. I check it and there is a new laptop. There is this new laptop for only $199. I called the store and it, and it is uh, $900 there. $900 there. I will finally get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web at that web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offered protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. All right. Thank you. Thank you both for why don't we switch roles? Switch roles. We have okay, fun. sounds perfect. Yes, thank uh, you. Hank, you won't believe it. Believe this. A friend said he bought his this excellent deal online. I check it. I check it, and there is a new laptop for only $199. I call it a store, and it is $900 there, dollars there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. Uh, why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock sim uh, symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts may mention on TV that credit cards offer the protection, but uh, from identity theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, thank you both. Fabricio and Ronald for reading, for participating. You did it very well. Thank you. Let's continue. I need more uh, two more volunteers. Me teacher. Thank you, Madeline. Sure. Okay, we got Madeline and Magdiel. Thank you guys. Go ahead. Read. Okay. Magdiel, you well, no, we're gonna be like 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 Jesse, you are uh Jesse, you are Madeline. Madeline, you are Jesse <laughs> and Magdiel is Hank. I know, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hi, you won't believe this. My friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I check it and there is new laptop online. One um hundred ninety-nine dollars. I call the store and it is um nine hundred dollars there. I will definitely get in online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up. Of the or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that that the site is secu secure. Secure. That you have that you have to look up for a small padlock symbol 
in the others bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mention it on TV that credit card offered protection from identify tell that debit card don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, switch roles, no problem. Okay. okay. Hank, you won't believe this? A friend said said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it, I checked it, and there is this new laptop for only one one hundred and ninety-nine. I called the store and it uh nineteen hundred nine hundred sorry nine hundred dollar there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a, a good look at the web page before you enter your car number in there. Why? Hurry up. Or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that he's safe and secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the Azure bar. This one doesn't have it. Expert mentioned on uh, TV that credit card offered protection for identity identity death that debit card don't so to pair it use a credit card all right thank you both for your participation Marilyn my dear thank you for for uh practicing Thanks. let me show you let me show you the that, that, that thing over there. let's look at it real quick Look at this. Let me show you. Can you see it? Yes. All right. This is about the padlock symbol. The uh, the conversation is talking about the guys are talking about the conversation. It says here that that if the pad padlock doesn't uh show or doesn't pop up, that means that the, the website is not really secure. So telling a little uh, website from a from a fake or scam site can be difficult. Unfortunately, it is becoming more difficult over time. When you go to a site that has that has a padlock icon next to the site name, it means the site is secured with a digital certificate. Look at this. Can you see over here? Can you see it? Yes, you can. Right. So that means when this padlock is not there, when that symbol is not there, that means that the website is not secure, it might be scam or fake. Yes. So you have to be careful with this. Look, it's here again. Let me show you with this picture. So in the image, you can see the, the padlock again uh, with the Apple website. You can see it there. If you if you type on the Google bar Apple and it sends you to a web page that has not padlock, that, that web page web page is not is not real, it's fake or it's not secure. Gotta be careful with that. All right. Let's continue with uh, the conversation. Don't worry, we have time and I need people to participate here. Yes. We have uh, listened to Magdiel, Marilyn, Luis Fabricio, and I think Ronald. We're missing uh, Eric, uh, Mauricio, Mario, Elizabeth, Luis. Volunteers. I'm here. Okay, we have Eric. Who's reading with Eric? 
Me, teacher. Okay, Emerson and Eric. Emerson, you start. You are Jesse and uh, Eric, you're Hank. Okay. Um, Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal of mine. I check it and there is a new laptop for only 199. I call the store and it is 900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your car member in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that that it, that the site is secure. You have to look look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Expert mention mention mentioning on. TV that credit cards offer them protection from identify theft. The debit card don't, don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, thank you. Let's make a switch. For sure. Uh, Eric, you're Jesse and Emerson is, is uh, Hank. Okay. Hank. You won't believe it. Is a friend said he bought he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it, and there is there is this new laptop for only one hundred ninety nine dollars. I called the store, and it is ninety. 900 there i will de definitely ah, sorry definitely get it online but i will use my debit card wait a second that sounds suspicious let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your card number in there why hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay. Thank you guys for, for reading, for participating. Let's continue with uh, two more participants. Let me see, let me choose them. Uh, let me see if we get it from... Uh, Mario, are you ready? Luis Javier? Yes. Okay, Luis is not there. Mauricio, Edgardo? Yes, I'm here. All right. Mauricio, you are Jesse, and uh, Mario, you are Han. Okay. Han, you won't believe this. A friend said they bought, he bought his excellent deal online. I checked it. And there is the new laptop for only one, 199 I called a store, and it is 900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that's so suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have a look, a look for a small public symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Expect mentioned on TV that credit card offers protection from 
identify identity theft that debit cards don't don't the debit card don't. So you better use a credit card. All right. Switch switch roles. Hang. You won't believe this. A friend said about this excellent deal online. I checked it, and there is the new laptop for only $199. I called it a store, and it is $900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take good let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your car number in the in there. Why? Right. Hurry up. On the offer will be gone before we now we a friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection from ident identity theft that debit cards doesn't. So you better use a credit card. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mauricio and Mario, for participating. Let me see. Uh, Elizabeth, are you there? All right, we got it. Thank you guys for participating. Now, we're going to continue with part number three. I am going to give you a couple of minutes to, to answer the questions. It says there, look at the conversation above and rewrite the sentences below. It says, it says there, a friend tells me there is an excellent deal online. There is this excellent deal online, sorry. Number two, a friend says you have to make sure that the site is secure. And three, experts say credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. Let, let me show you the, com the conversation and the question, excuse me. And the questions, so you can like like rewrite them. There teacher, you go. Hi. Teacher, rewrite in a different way. What do you mean? Um, I don't know how how to say that. Um. That uh, that expression, uh, but in a different way. Uh, yes. That mean the same. It has to be different. It has to be different. Ah, okay. It has to be different. Yes, I I would tell I, I could tell you what how how it is, but then I, I don't let me telling you everything. But look, a friend said he bought this excellent deal online, so it has to be in the past form. Yes, you're going to change. You're going to change the verb. Tell, says, and say into the past form as well as the following verb. Yes, this one has to be in the past form. Excuse me, only is past form have to in the past have in the past form and offer in the past form. Okay, let me give you a couple of minutes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me grab some water.
Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Let's begin. Tell me number one. Anyone, tell me number one. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Go. A friend told me there was this excellent deal online. There you go. A friend told me the tell me there was this excellent deal online. Yes, that's how it goes. I'm going to let you know what this what this is later on. Okay, I'm going to tell you what this is later on. Number two. Number two. Anyone? Anyone? Number two. Tell me. Okay. A friend. A friend said, "You had to make sure that the site is secure." There you go. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. All right, yes, there you go. Thank you for, for sharing your example or your answer. And that is the answer, yes. And the last one, the last one, anyone? The last one. The last one. Okay. Expert said credit card offer offered the protection from identify depth the debit the debit card don't. There you go. All right. Experts said credit cards offered protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. Okay, yes, we got it. We got it. Now, we're going to see or we're going to learn what this grammar thing is because this is a grammar topic. So right now we're going to learn it or practice it. If you have seen it before, it's okay. We're going to practice it. Let's go down here or wait. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No, it's okay. Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. All right, let's carry on then. Let me see. I'm going to share this in the presentation. Okay. Here. Look at this. The topic is reported speech. Reported speech. Have you ever studied this topic before? Reported speech? No? This one, reported speech. No? No, coach, but I have a question. Okay. What, what is, is the meaning question? speech? Speech. Speech. Speech is, uh, is what you say. What you say. Uh, I cannot I really explain it to you. Speech. Go to this chat over there. Yes. As it is. Yes. Reported speech. Uh, it's, it's what you say. It's what you say. 
Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, let me tell you what reported speech is. We're going to learn how to use it in the affirmative form, only affirmative, not negatives, not questions, because we have, we do have the negatives and we do have the questions, but we're not going to practice that. Only, only the, the affirmative form. Yes. And I think it's going to be only in the simple present form. We're not going to be talking about other tenses. I do have something about other tenses, but we're not going to study that specifically. We're going to work on simple past and simple, uh, sorry, simple present and simple past. It says here, look at examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. What, what do we use report, report speech for? What, why do we use it? What do we use it for? Yes, look to express to a third person. There has to be three people to express to a third person the words that somebody has said. We use reported speech. For example, Luis Fabricio is here in the class. And over here next to me, I have my brother. My brother tells me something in the ear or whispers something to me. But Fabricio could not hear that. So Fabricio asks me, hey teacher, what did your brother say? And then uh, to report or to say what he said, I have to report it. I have to report what my brother said. And that's when I use reported speech to report what a second person said to a third person. That's why it says here, to express to a third person the words that somebody has said. That is reported speech. But I do have the definition right here. We're gonna see it. Wait, I don't have it. I guess, no. Where is it? But I did have the definition. What happened to it? Oh, it is here. It is here, sorry. An easier definition, all right. In reported speech, we express what somebody has said in our own words. In this case, we make some changes that to what the person has said. After the reporting verb, it is possible to use the word that. Example, experts say credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. The reported sentence goes like this. Experts mentioned that credit cards offered protection from identity theft that debit, excuse me, that debit cards don't. What's the difference? What is the difference right here? The difference is in the tense, the tense. If uh, my brother says, something in the simple present form, when I report this sentence, I will not report it in the same tense. Grammatically speaking, I have to change that tense. Since he used simple present, the rule or the grammar rule says that I have to use simple past. Look at this. Let me see how can I, where is the word? I cannot really select it. Look at this. The verb say is in the base form or in the simple present form. Down here, we have changed the verb. We have changed the verb. Yes, we have changed it. But we could use said. We could use said. Instead of mention, we could use, we could use said with no problems. But compare that. The sentence. The first sentence is in the simple present form. The reported sentence goes in the past form. Goes in the past form. This is the main verb offer, and the verb over here is offered. The rest is the same. But the main verb, the first verb said, told, said, well, say, tell, and mention, said, told, mentioned. 
and then the verb right after the subject. Yes. Let's take a look at two more examples down here. Look at them. A YouTuber says, manufacturers' websites have important information about products online. In the reported sentence, let's not look at it right now. In the reported sentence, we have to uh, put this verb in the, into the past form. And we have to put this verb into the past form. We have to change it to the past form. Says goes to said and have goes to had. Let's take a look. A YouTuber said manufacturers' websites have important information about products online. The word that, the word that, as you can see, it's between parentheses. That means that the word that is optional. If you want it, you can use it or you can remove it. That is up to you. But if you want to use it, fine. If you want to remove it, fine. No problem. It's not really necessary. All right. Let's take a look at another example. A friend suggests credit cards are a better option than debit cards for shopping online for online shopping. What are we going to change here? We're going to change suggests and we're going to change the verb are. Take a look. A friend suggested past form credit cards were past form. All right? Yes. This is reported speech. This is reported speech. But, but, we're just talking, we're just talking about simple present. Simple present, when someone says something in the present or simple present, what you report or that sentence you are reporting has to go in the past form, all right? If you use past form, I mean, if this person uses past form, if you report past form, you're not going to report past form. You're going to report present perfect, different tense. That is reported speech. It's, it's not really difficult. The problem here is that reported speech is kind of complex. It requires a lot of uh, more practice and more study. But it's not really difficult to understand. It's just that you need to know the past form of the verbs or, or the, 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 the tenses, the structures, the auxiliaries. Yes. It's very complex, very complex. Do you have any questions? I do have more examples. Don't worry. I have more examples on my own for you guys to see. Do you have any questions? Hello, any questions? Hello, no? All right. Over here, I have some verbs that we use uh, for online shopping or that we use online. It says here, when adding items, items doesn't go with this, with this guy over here. It's, I don't know what happened. So when adding items to the shopping carts, Shop, buy, get, purchase, order, I want this, I add to, tote, basket, luggage, and box. When purchasing digital products, download, watch, read, reserve, schedule, and book. Now, do you have any questions about this vocabulary, these verbs? What does it mean book in this context? Book in this context, it means uh, the same as this, reserve, reserve, yes, the same, the same. For example, you can say, I, ha I, want, to, I want to book this song, well, album, let's say, I want to book this album 
on the iTunes. It means you want to reserve that album when it comes out, when it is released. Or you can use it in a different context. Uh, for a hotel, for example, I you call a hotel and uh, you tell the, the person in charge, hey, I want to book a room. I want to book a room. That means I want to reserve a room or make a reservation for a room. Uh, you can also use it for restaurants. Yes. More questions about the verbs? Teacher, the word uh, the seventh position. Uh, add to tote. What is what is that? It's like it's like a bag. It's like a bag. A bag. Uh, oh, okay. I don't, know, I don't know the material. It's it's these bags that you get at Maxi Dispensa. They are green. The material is not like a regular bag. No, I don't know the material. The name of the material, I don't really know it. But it is a bag. Let me show you over here in, uh, on Google. Because <laughs> I don't know the, the material. But it is a bag that we usually see a uh, uh, Maxi Dispensa. Let me show you some pictures over here. This thing. Can you see it? Uh, back to bring the groceries. Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes. Yes. But it's not like a regular bag. It's, it's like a bag, but not a bag. It, 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 it's, it's a tote. <laughs> it's a, it's tote. a bag for a store. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yes. Yeah, you usually get this at, at, the, at the supermarkets. They cost like, like a quarter or 50 cents. It's not here. We're here. So more questions add to tote, basket, and luggage and box. More questions about this? No, okay. Yes. Now look, uh, when requesting additional details, request, find, Uncover, learn, discover, explore, browse, compare, and see more. When engaging, call, ask, li live chat, subscri subscribe, contact us, register, sign up, like, tweet, follow, or any social media verbs. Is this, this vocabulary or these verbs are related to online shopping. All of it, or all, all of them are for online shopping. You you can use them in some other scenarios with no problems, but uh, just showing you that uh, we can use them for online shopping or for online processes. Yes. Now, look, take a look at this. How do you report a speech? This is my my uh, uh, my explanation. is is really easy. It is used to repeat. Look, it is used to repeat or report what someone else has said. The reported sentence sentence with no s the reported sentence and the original sentence do not take the same grammar structure i was telling you that when a person says something in the present when you report it that has to go in the past so they do not have the same structure so look the reported sentence and the original sentence do not take the same grammar structure if you take a look, I have some uh, tenses here or some structures in the, the direct speech. The direct speech is the, the tense and the reported speech is how, how it goes when you report it. Look, present simple. I want to watch a film. I want to watch a film. When you report it goes like this. He said that he wanted to watch a film. Present goes to past. Present continuous goes to past continuous. He said, well, Jane is sleeping. He said that Jane was sleeping. Present perfect goes to past perfect. He said, I have brought, I have bought a new, a new dress. 
she said that he had bought a new dress. And it goes like that. Goes like that. Yes. Simple past goes to past perfect. Will would can could may might must have to and have have to goes to have to. Yes. But we're working. We're working or focusing on on this part only. Right. Not the rest. All right, look, I have uh, two examples here. Oh, look at that, the person, uh, I like Peter. She said she liked you. Look at this, Rose says, I download, I download some catalog before I make the decision to buy an item. Tell me, how would you report this sentence? I download some catalogs before I make the decision to buy an item. How would you report this sentence? Tell me. Hello? Anyone? May I? Yes, go ahead. No problem. Um, I download, download a uh, past how downloaded. Downloaded, downloaded. Downloaded some downloaded. catalogs before I made the decision to buy an item. Okay, but you have you have to mention the person. She said, she said that. She, she said that she downloaded mm -hmm. some. Okay. Uh, she said. Sorry, she said uh, she downloaded downloaded some catalogs before I before she made the decision to buy an item. Let's take a look, Fabricio. I report. Well, Fabricio report. She said that she downloaded some catalogs and before she catalogs. made the decision to buy she an did. item. Yes, exactly. Yes. Remember, the word that is optional. If you want, you can keep it or you can just take it away. You want to keep it? Good. If you want to take it away? Good. No problem. All right? Yes. So take a look at this. What changes here, what changes here is the verb. Download. Download it. Make, but in this case, we have, I have two verbs. Make, made. And of course, you have to report or mention the person that said whatever the person said. In this case is Rose and she. Right? And here, in this case, I use Rose, she. I make is she again, Rose. Let's continue. And look at this. The students said they want vacation. Hold on. Video, I, I made a mistake there. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I'm trying to fix it. I was writing really fast. I didn't notice the mistake. There you go. Better, better. What's going on? There you go. Let me save it. No. Got frozen. All right. Wait, it is frozen. Okay, look, the students said they want a vacation. Hey, do you want vacation, people? <laughs> no, right? I don't think so. We're just beginning with, with the module. I don't think you want vacation right now. All right, let's take a look at the example. Chandler, may he rest in peace. I subscribe to most online stores. I subscribe to most online stores. 
subscribe. So who can report this sentence or how would you report this sentence, people? Tell me, how would you report it? Try, try. Can I? Yes, of course. Okay. She said uh, that he subscribed the, the most online stores. Repeat it. He said that he subscribed to most online stores. Okay, Eric, let's see. I report. He said that he subscribed to most online stores. Yes, exactly, exactly. You see how it goes? Okay. It's not it's not really complicated. Uh, it's kind of easy. You just have to practice, practice and practice. Remember that practice makes perfection. But we just we have just studied only one tense, simple present, that goes to simple past. Yes. All right. Do you have any questions? No, oh, it's okay. Got it. Okay. Do you understand it? All right. All right. It's okay. Thanks. All right. Now, we're going to continue working. Uh, before you forget, before you forget, we're going to continue working. And there are some exercises on the book that we need to complete. Take a look. It says there, excuse me, rewrite. Hold on. Rewrite the following sentences using report speech. Compare your answers with a class speech. Let me read them to you. If you have questions about the vocabulary, let me know. Big online stores say trusted brands have strong reputation. Specialists, specialists say PayPal is more secure than debit cards. A friend says, Offers the offers that are good to be true may be scam. A blogger says mobile phones networks are more secure than than public Wi-Fi. And the last one, consumers report deals are often hidden in web pages. All right, there you go. Questions? No. No, okay. Let's work. I'm going to give you one minute per example. That means you're going to have five minutes for or to solve the exercise. Five minutes. Go. I'm going to put it here in the cell phone. Five minutes. Starting now. Five. Let's go. Let's go.
All right, time's up. Let's see. Let's start with the number one. I need a volunteer to give me the sentence, the reported sentence. Let me read the normal sentence and then you give me the reported one. Big online stores that say trusted brands have a strong reputation. Anyone? Give me the reported sentence. Hello. Hey, teacher. Okay, my deal. Yes, thank you. Um, big online store said that trust first brand had a strong reputation. Trusted brand, right? Trusted. Trust. Repeat it, please. Had, had a strong reputation. There you go. So, Big online stores said trusted said brand that. had okay said that okay if you want to use it that. Okay. there you go okay big online stores said that trusted brands had a strong reputation all right there you go it is correct thank you McGill for your participation excellent well done let's see let me read the second one and then Fabricio is going to give us the reported sentence. Specialists okay. say PayPal is more secure than debit cards. Fabricio? Specialists said that PayPal was more secure than debit cards. All right. Let me write it down. Oops. If you want, you can use that. No problem. There you go. Here we go. Okay. Specialists said that PayPal was more secure than debit cards. Excellent. Thank you, Fabricio. Very good. Well done. Well done. Number three. Let me read it. Then uh, let me see. Kathy, are you ready? I don't know. Yeah, I can. Okay. Let me Thank read you. number three and you, you give me the reported sentence. A friend okay. says offers are sorry, offers that are too good to be true may be scam. Kathy? A friend says the offers that are too good to be true may be a scam. A scam. Okay, a friend said, said offer. Oh, let's use that in case. That offers well, offers yeah. the that are too good to be true. That are too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Maybe I can. May. May. Made. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah, I don't know what happened here. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know what happened. But let's go back to the presentation. Let me show you. Okay. Yes, right here. If you can see, if you can see with models, it's, it's also different. Down here, may look. It may rain. When you report it, you change it. You change it. Right. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what happened here. I don't know why why the book is, is working with, with May. Look, it may rain. Ben said that it might rain. It so might. we're going to change May to might. Okay. I'm sorry, the book is, is, is crazy sometimes. What happened? Erased everything? Uh, <laughs> why? 
Well, I don't know what happened. Oh, sad. Okay, but we, we got it. We got it. Thank you. Let me write that one down. Okay, let me write it down. Uh, friend said the offers There you go. Thank you. A friend said that offers that are too good to be true might be a scam. Number four. Uh, let me see number four. Mauricio? Yes, I'm here. Okay, let me read it, Mauricio. Okay. A blogger, said, a blogger says mobile phones networks are more secure than public Wi-Fi. Report it. <clears throat> okay. A blogger says the mo uh, the mobile phone network I don't know if are or where more secure than public Wi-Fi. It has to be past four, past four. Okay, where, sec where secure than public Wi-Fi? Okay, there you go. Thank you, thank you, Mauricio, for reading and participating. So uh, I, I don't know. I I have some doubt about the third because uh, it's the same the same uh, example that are too good and I have to use word more secure mm -hmm. I don't, yes. you, will, you will check later or or just an no, example no. no no the the thing is that the thing is that over here offers that are too good to be true that that are in this case is not the main verb. The main okay. verb here is may. Well, modal verb in this case. So what we change okay. here is, is may and might. Okay, perfect. Thanks. So a blogger said mobile phones networks were more secure than public Wi-Fi. Yes, excellent. Thank you, Mauricio, for that one. And the last one, let me see. Marilyn, are you there? Ready? I don't know. <laughs> I think not. Mario, what about you? Consumer reports there were often hidden in web page. Let me see. Let me see. Consumers report deals are often hidden in web pages. Can you repeat it, Mario? Consumer reports. Deals were often hiding in web pages. There you go. Hidden, hidden, not hiding, hidden. Hidden, hidden. Consumers reported, reported, past form. Consumers reported deals were often hidden in web pages. Yes in web pages. Very well, very well. Thank you for your uh, participation, people. Thank you for always uh, participating. Now, we are going to continue. We still have 20 minutes. We are going to continue with part number six. Part number six says the following. Let me read it to you. It says, Write five tips you have heard from friends or other sources about shopping online. Use reported speech. So we are going to write five examples or five tips. And you're going to say, a friend said, 
a friend told me, or a friend mentioned, a friend reported, whatever you want to say. If you want to use say, tell, report, mention, even suggest, fine. Or recommend, a friend recommended. If you want to use them, that's fine. And you're going to use reported speech, all right? For example, let me give you an example down here. My friend Ulysses told me, look at this, told me that I, is the same, I should never, right? the same, the same, let's see, I, I should never, the shoot doesn't change, it's the same, shoot and shoot is the same. My friend Lisa told me that he and then there you go. Something like this. My friend Lisa told me that he bought items and then paid. It might be a tip. You can buy things and then you pay. Okay, on, I mean online, online. Yes. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna you're gonna use reported speech to provide tips that you have gotten from friends or other sources. All right. Five examples or five tips. Let's work on that. I'm going to give you around uh, six minutes to do that. Six. Starting right now, let me just set it up real quick. Seven, not five, six minutes. Let's go. If you have any questions, remember I am here. Coach, I have a question. Yes. In total, we we will we will make a twelve sentence. Twelve? No, 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 no. Just five. No. Five. I'm sorry, ten. Ten in this case. Uh, five in. No, no. Just, just, just mention, mention, just report only the reported sentence. Don't worry about the uh, other one. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Sentence. Yeah, let me okay. let me show you that. Uh, look, write five tips you have heard from friends or other sources about shopping online. Use reported speech. Just that reported speech. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. The same as this. Look, if you want to see some examples, go up to the to the conversation. Look, a friend a uh, friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. Just that. Is that yes? Okay, okay. All right.
Okay, time's up. We can continue. People, time's up. Let's see. Who is ready to share the tips from your friends, from other uh, sources? Tell me. I just have to. It's fine. It's fine. We just have uh, around uh, nine minutes. So tell me, what, what do you have? Uh, my friend said that vote online is risky. That? Vote. Mm. Repeat it, repeat it. Uh, um... that buy online okay okay buy online is is or was risky uh -huh. there you know. go there you go let me show you let me show you let me help you out a little bit there a friend told me right a friend no a friend said friend said that if you want to use it that's okay the you said buy. Buy online is or was risky? Is risky. Okay. What is the verb? So what's the verb here? Sell. Okay, that's one. That's the first verb. Buy is the second verb. The second verb is not buy. <laughs> no. The second verb is is. So we're going to change the Risky. verb is. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Exactly. Was. And over here, by is incorrect. Why? Because you want to use or you are trying to use by as a subject. If you use a verb as a subject. To buy. Exactly. It has to be to buy or the most common way, buy, which is a gerund. A friend said that buying online was risky. What does buying mean in this context? It's me, it means comprar in Spanish. Yes. It's a gerund, a gerund being used as a subject. Yes. It's not a verb. It's a gerund. It could be it could be shopping too. Exactly, yes. Yes. Shopping, no problem. Exactly. Shopping online or what you said. That to buy online, excuse me, to buy online was risky, yes. Okay. Buy or to buy is the same, yes. All right. The other one. Um, a friend told me that she liked to order watches, watches online. She liked, right? Liked. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay. A friend said or told me that she liked to buy watches online. Perfect, perfect. All right. Thank you, Luis, for uh, your examples. Let's continue with another person. Tell me, people. Mauricio, Aguil, Eric, Kathy, Ronald, Mario, Marilyn. Me? Okay, Kathy, thank you. Okay, my first is, my mommy said that I needed to verify the taxes for buy. My mommy said I needed to verify the taxes before buy. The tracking. No, taxes. I was oh, thinking taxes. about international yes, products. Yes. The taxes, the taxes, yes. Thank you. Okay. Before you said before? Buy. Okay. Or shop. Before. Repeat it. Repeat it, repeat it. Uh, my mom, my mom. My oops. mommy uh, said that I needed to verify the taxes before buy. Verify the taxes before, before? Buy. Okay, there you go. Goodbye. Another case of gerunds here. Uh, gerunds are a complex topic too. When we use when we use the the word before, after, uh, only these ones are the most common. Before and after, 
and then you want to use a verb, this verb becomes a gerund. That means that we need to use or add ing before buying. Before okay, buying. Thank you. Or, or if you want, you can remove the ing and you can add the subject. Okay. Before I buy. Oops. But it's better to say, and it's more common to see this before buying. Yes. All right. You are the one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you to you. You have another one? Only that oh, one. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, for example, one of my friends showed me how to protect my online information. Repeat it. One of my friends showed me how to protect my online information. Yes, showed, right? Showed, okay. With ED, Thank yes, you. all right. Do you have more examples? Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, share them, no problem. Okay, my bestie told me how to buy online, Thank you. My bestie told me? How to buy online, Thank you. Okay. All right. Do you have more? Yes. Um, my daddy told me that it's necessary to verify the time of shipping. Repeat it. That one. Uh, okay. My daddy told me. My, my daddy told me that it's necessary to verify the time of shipping. Okay. Told me that it was. Okay. It was necessary to verify the, the, the shipping or the, the what? Yes, shipping. Okay, but it was. That it was necessary. Ah, okay. Yes. All right, all right. Okay, thank you. Okay. Are you done? <laughs> thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, I have uh, one more. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, no problem, no problem. It was fine. Okay, okay. Uh, I do the, I did the fine example. <laughs> um, the last one. Is my sister told me how to buy with a low cost of shipping. Okay. Keep repeat it. What? Sorry? Repeat it, repeat it. Ah, okay. My sister taught me how to buy with a low cost of shipping. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you okay. for sharing, Kathy. We have Thank time you. to continue sharing. Let's see uh, who else is ready. Mario? Eric, Mauricio, Magdiel, Marilyn, Emerson, I don't know, Ronald, Elizabeth. I have a couple of. Okay, Eric, yes, go ahead, share them. And then Magdiel. Okay. A friend said, I messed up my homework. A friend said, I messed up my homework. I mixed, missed, missed it up. Where are you using the verb, verb miss or mess? Miss, mess, sorry. Like mess up? Of course. Okay. Mess, messed up, yes. Uh, in this case, the song is at the end with T, T song. Except messed. Mess. Yes, and you can connect the 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 the, the, the T sound with with up. Messed up. Messed up. Oh, okay. In this case, a friend said I messed up my homework. Okay. Okay. And another is a friend said that she was the best in the cell. In the All cells. right. All right. And one of my friends said he had more endurance in the race. Okay. Yes, yes, correct. Okay, that's that's that is all. Okay, and that is fine. That is fine, Eric. Thank you for sharing. Magdiel, share your examples. Okay. Uh, a friend said 
that he was addict, addict to, to buy online. But the other addicted. friend, addict? Yes, to buy online. He was addict to buy online. Addicted to buying online. Okay, addicted to buy online. And another friend said that he preferred go to a store and touch product. He preferred going. Going. Yes, going. He, pre he preferred going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's that 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 is all. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, the verb the verb prefer prefer goes with the gerund as well. Prefer to go, or you can say prefer going. The adjective addicted uh addicted to goes with a gerund as well. For example, I am addicted. The, the two reading. Yes. All right. Gerunds. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you that we do not have more time. It's 10 o'clock right now. We do not have more time. I just want to thank you guys for your participation, for joining today. And uh, I want to remind you that tomorrow we will not have a session. We're going to see each other again on Friday. And uh, you will see uh, receive a message tomorrow about the, 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 the holiday. All right? Yes. Now, do you have any questions? No. So far, it's okay, teacher. Okay, everything is fine. It's, everything is fine. All right, all right. Okay, let me just uh, update the attendance and then we will be free to go. Let me see, Enrique, hello. And Enrique, hello, Eric, Enrique. I'm here. Hi, can you please stay a couple of minutes? Of course. Okay, thank you, thank you. Do, do not leave the session, okay? Okay, okay. All right, thanks. Let me see. Diego, Jose, Jose Benitez was not here today. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present. Yes, thank you, Elizabeth. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Oops. Okay. Eric Enrique Reyes. Here. Thanks, Julissa Milagrialta. I see you there. Carla Ivania Anaya. Is it Anaya or Amaya? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Katia Maria Gonzalez. Present. So it's not Kathy. It says Kathy over here. And, uh... My name is Katia, but <laughs> maybe oh, okay. everybody call me Kathy. <laughs> okay, okay. I understand. I understand. Thank you for okay. letting me know. <laughs> I know. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here, teacher. This is Kathy. Kathy, what? What? All right. Uh, Luis Javier Castillo was here for a couple of minutes. Then he left. I don't know why he left. Magdiel Sao Garcia. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano. I see you there. Rafael Alberto Herrera. Here. Thank you. Raul Edgardo Muñoz was not here today. I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, Alexander Vasquez Diego. Present. The last person didn't show up either. Okay, people, thank you very much for joining today. I wish you the best for tomorrow. If you are going to the cemetery, be careful, take care, and just 
enjoy tomorrow with your family if you if you're going there buy good flowers and just enjoy all right thank you very much and i'll see you on friday have a good night everyone thank you good night thank you bye 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 bye, -bye. thank care. you so much have a happy holiday thank you thank you you too Okay, Eric, hi. Hi, Coach. Hi. All right, uh, we have a couple of minutes, Eric, to discuss any of your questions. Uh, if you're confused, if you have a complication when, with, uh, with the topics that we have seen or any topic that, that you have seen anywhere else, tell me, questions. Um. In this case, um, I don't have a problem with the topic. I'm, I'm trying to understand a quick fix uh, the topic. And if I don't understand something, I look for, on Google uh, some, some keys to understand uh, well. Uh, to add uh, to my knowledge in this case but the topic from today was uh, interesting to me because I didn't know that about uh, speech speeches in this case and it's interesting but I, I don't have a question about it right. my trouble is when I don't understand some words uh, that I don't that I haven't heard before. But you haven't heard before. Of course. In that case, you have to practice a lot, and you should learn vocabulary every day. Try to learn vocabulary. Yes, I I try to do that, and I am using Tongo. Don't go up. Uh, uh, most of the time, I try to read uh, uh, five minutes on my free time. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let me show. You should. Uh, well, what I suggest, what I suggest is like learning at least, at least, at least three words every day, every day. You can choose a verb, you can you choose a random word, like a, an object or something to learn a every day, every day. Yes. Yes. Maybe, uh, maybe. Okay. Go ahead. Maybe, maybe you're not going to memorize or learn the three words every day. Maybe you're going to remember only one, but learning one word every day is good. Yes. So it's a good, it's a good step. Yes. Yes, and I usually listen, uh, how can I say, but I listen uh, uh, people, native, native, native you, English, you. You. Native, uh, native in, on YouTube, uh, when I'm working, I I use my headphones and I'm listening that when I use when I when I'm working because I I I believe that I develop my skills only listening only be listen. because uh because in the future I want to work in a call center and I try to uh, understand the question before the interview. Uh, I have been trying a couple of more, the last, almost almost three months ago, mm -hmm. I tried in a call center, but 
they told me that I need to practice more. And I am doing that, but some days I don't wanna, but I'm here. That's why uh, always practicing, practicing. I understand, I understand. Yes, call centers, they are asking, they are asking at least 80% of English. At least 80%. I went and I applied uh, for a call center vacancy. When was this? 2000, 2018, I think, five or six years ago. But uh, I, I did not like it. I did not like it. I did not work in a call center. I didn't like it. Yes. Because uh, what I like is teaching. I like to be a teacher. I do not like to be working as a, well, a, a call center. No, I don't like it. But the, the, the money that they pay is good. I got to say yes. that uh, the money that they pay is really, really good. I have a couple of friends. This friend, uh, Daniel, he's been working there for like three years or four years. I think he's like a coach or something. He's he's uh, earning like one thousand dollars, a lot of money. Yes, and I have this other friend, uh, Javier. He's been working for Sykes. Daniel is working for Teleperformance, and 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 this guy Javier is working for Sykes. He's been working there for like seven years. I think he's some kind of mentor. I don't know. He's making. More than one thousand dollars to ease making money. Yes, so they they give you uh, the the opportunity to grow, to go up. You know, to go up. You start like a regular uh, caller or a person to take take calls, but then you grow. They give you the chance to grow, and it's good. It's good. Yes, but I, I, for me, I, I don't like it. Yes, but if you like it, go for it. Go for it. You gotta practice, practice, and practice. Yes, in my case, that's why the reason that I'm uh, practicing English because mm -hmm. my last coach always said uh, English opens the door. Uh, exactly, exactly, yes. You are, I right, could, you are right. Uh, I could see that with my friends because uh, a couple of them is uh, are working in a call center and they said that the benefits are good and uh, the the salary is is better than mm -hmm. than other uh, business yes it is i know i know it is difficult because let me tell you that working in a call center is a little difficult but if you want if you want to make good money yes you gotta, yes. You gotta do it. and uh, and my goal after that is be a coach, maybe be a coach because you can do that. Uh, yeah. I I had a coach the last year and he is he is the same age to me. Mm -hmm. wow. And yes, and I said the same. Wow. What, how 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 did you did it? And they said I was practicing English uh, since since I was fifteen years almost. Just think about and that. only and only he was waiting for for the the two and applying a call center. And he was hiring quickly because he he can speak like an Arab. All right, that's that's good. That's good. Yes, Eric, you have to practice a lot. Just on YouTube, you have well, now we have many resources. You can learn from TikTok. On TikTok, you can find uh, uh, many videos or coaches and teachers. And the good thing about TikTok is that you don't, you don't have a long videos. You have very short videos, something easy. You can uh, look for, for those videos when you're working because they last like one minute or two minutes. You can learn something from that. 
on YouTube, you can find a lot of teachers, many uh, YouTubers, many accounts that, that, that are for teaching. I would recommend if you want to try to get a list called English, what's the name of it? And I can't remember the name of it. Let me see if I can show you right. And this one. What you can do is go to on go to YouTube and type and type this. Can you see it? Yes, I can see. This Engvid. Engvid, and you will get many, many teachers. You get this guy James, you get some guy uh, named Alex, Emma, and they have a lot of lessons. Look, Rebecca, Emma. You have uh, this guy, Adam, Alex, Alex, somewhere over there. I learn. I used to watch these videos when I was learning English, like like some years ago, and they, they explain well. They are good teachers. They are native. They are from Canada and they are from the U.S. And there are some even there are some some of them that are from from uh, from England. Yes. So you can learn uh, from them. It's OK. But. England, uh, the accent is different. We need to you. Is is the accent is different? Yes. Accent and what's gonna require a uh, United Kingdom? No, actually, no, actually, US, actually it, say. every country, every country has its own accent. Accent, for example, Canadian people they have their accent. American or Gringos they have their accent. Australian they have their accent. Indian, Jamaican, uh, there are many accents. Yes, many of them. Yes, but look for it. Look yes. for it. Angvin. Angvin. They are good. They are good. Yes. Right. I usually listen. Do you know uh, the the website Experia? Not really. Uh, experience is uh, um, a website when where you can find a uh, describe it describe uh, places around the world. Places. For example, yes. Okay. Places, and I like that because uh, it means it it describe a. Uh, Places and I can I can get of them new words. Uh, I un, I don't understand some words and I listen that one or twice five time. It's it's good because you can practice that and I made a list of that. And that is good. That is good. Yes. Yeah, you have to keep working. Don't don't lose motivation. Uh, don't lose motivation. Keep learning, because if you if you lose motivation, you're not going to learn anything. You, you have to you have to learn every day. If you wanna learn fast, you gotta do it every day. When I was learning, let me tell you, this was seven or eight. No, no, it was not seven years ago. It was. 11, 10 years ago, like 10 years ago, when I started my career in the university, I used to spend four or five hours every day, every day, from Monday to Sunday. I did not, I did not rest. I was learning vocabulary, writing, listening, like, like I surrounded myself with English. Like everything I did was in English. Learning vocabulary, listening to music, watching videos, watching movies, a series, even anime because I like anime. I watched anime with the uh, English subtitles. Yes, and that's how I learned. You gotta, you gotta push yourself to the limit. Yes, you gotta push yourself to the limit. I I see that I need that because um sometimes I don't push my uh my habits. In this case, yeah. 
you say everything you everything you do you have to do it in english i used to go i used to go out and do do things for my grandfather and i was thinking here i was thinking in english like talking to myself in my head like hey how do you say this in english if i didn't know i would come back to my house and look for it on the computer yes and sometimes like you you learn like that yes whatever you're doing whatever somebody is doing try to describe what that person is doing but try to do it here in your head yes if you don't know how to say something look it up on the cell phone and try to to repeat it yes try to repeat it you can do that yes it's okay i i i, I got it and yes. i will take your advice Try, try, yes. And if you have a question, if you have any questions or questions, uh, do not like hesitate to, to to ask me through WhatsApp. You can you have my number in the group. You can text me with no problems. I will help you out. Yes. With any question about vocabulary, okay. about grammar, about anything, okay. I will be happy to help you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, I will see you on Friday, Eric. Thank you for staying. It was a pleasure talking to you. Take care, and I will see you on Friday. All right? Have a good night. Have a good night, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Take you. care.